uh, welcome back everyone to an episode of Morocco! Oh. So, this one might be a little bit short of an episode because I'm kind of short on time, so if the episode just suddenly and spontaneously ends, uh... Yeah, that might be some bad. That might be because I had to suddenly leave. So, but anyways, before that happens, I just want to say I integrated Tripoli, which then completed my quest, which then means I can now like let's gain some admin power, seriously. And I got some five seeds for integrating. And look at that! Look at that! I'm starting to get like a real name over here in Morocco. And I got like six more infantry that actually displaced all like the uh, shock value I was going for with my lines and. I got like four new galleys. You know, I probably should be battling with galleys in the seas because eh, it's probably gonna help me more. And let's see, my troop count, my force limit now went to 20, which is really good. Uh, with our advisors, we lost apparently a couple advisors. Not necessarily good. Uh, how much is our economy doing right now? We are doing terrible in terms of economy. Uh, we can decrease that, but I want to first core this. Now that we cord this, can we still decrease our... No, we cannot. Okay, that's good. It's a good thing I checked there because I wanted to make sure that we could finish off the coin cost and then go into a, you know, reduction of everything. So, anyways, we have our new leader, a really, really awesome leader, the Sultan. The Sultan of Awesomeness, who's leading us through many, many trials and tribulations. Um... And we got this one guy that I'm going to get here. It's actually going to put us at about the same amount of infamy, but I wanted to do that because I need to do some national decisions. So now I can get some national decisions, which means uh, missionary strength. I don't really want to do that, though. I don't really want to do this. So, yeah. I'll just give, give it a second, by the way. Um, we should gain the uh, integrate with Tunnus events, right? Or is that for something different? That's probably for something different, isn't it? It, Tunis is a Moroccan core. What? We're still not? Oh my goodness. This is a lot of money, but look at that base tax. Ah, no wonder. Ah, uh, I see. I see. I see why this is already a core. Ah, uh, I see why I never made this a core. <laughs> but yeah, we really gotta integrate these guys into our society because, yeah, <laughs> we all wanna be a united Muslim nation against the evil Christians that are soon gonna be coming and. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, I got an alliance with the most powerful Muslim nation of them all. Well, besides for me, of course. Oh, the, the Ottomans, that is awesome. Okay, and I'm going to look for good supply limits so my people don't just start dying. Okay, supply limit, supply limit, supply limit's right there. Okay, good supply limit is probably in Tunis, so that's where we're going to move. By the way, how is my base tax here? You know, honestly, I might have to move my capital all the way to Tunis because... It's just, I feel like it would be a better safety node than all the others, and, I don't know, it just, it feel, it would feel more right to move to tennis, I, I don't know, I don't know, it just, it just feel more right. But anyways, right now we are just kind of relaxing, um, our prestige is going down terribly bad, our legitimacy is going up by a lot, which is really nice, and we're casually making money, which is good, not a lot of money, but enough. We can also reduce fl inflation, which I think I'm going to do. Yes, no, yes. Going to reduce inflation, which gives us like a 0.8. That's good. We're just going to casually relax. I mean, we really don't have to do a very much. We have a couple of overextension provinces. Um, you know, I'm going to save up for this one because this one is causing us 28. Ooh, that's so much. 28 overextension. That is so much. But that base tax, once we convert that, would be so nice. And we got a new heir that's 243. Um, he would not be good for westernization. So, I'm... How old is my guy? He's 31. Okay. I'm going to hope that this leader right here lasts for a very long time. Because, like I said, this guy is great for westernization. He would be like the man we want for westernization because he's got six plus this i could probably get like a seven or like a three star like admin points and we could be gaining points like crazy okay lose prestige we don't really have enough to lose prestige at this point so yeah um the emperor is the emperor somebody different or is it still austria it's still austria so yes increase the relationship with austria smart move 
keep the Christian, the powerful Christian nations on my side. That's the ultimate goal in this. Well, it's the ultimate goal to keep them on the side, and then once they least expect it, fight them and kill them. And let's see. Are we still have a truce with you guys? No, we do not. So we can go to war with them right now. Let's see. Who are your alliances now? Alliance with the Ottomans and Granada. Oh, gosh. Dang it. Alliance with Algiers. Well, it seems like we'll just do the exact same thing we did the first time. And we still got the same claim. That's terrible. We still have the same claim for when we originally fought them. And I'm going to get at least some of my army into this war. I mean, I don't have to get too much of my army, but just enough to where I can start blockading them. Go start sending in all my troops. And we're going to go fight the Algerian army. Or what's ref left of it. Um, probably could outright annex them, but... Oh! Money, 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 money. Wait. I'm fully supporting them. How am I losing? Oh, gosh. That is a terrible... What the? That was like a... I've never seen numbers that bad, especially considering that that was like, that should not have been a loss. That That's completely cheap right there. That should have been like an instant win. And this is what I mean by sometimes the game has a little bit of difficulty telling what's right and what's wrong. Oh gosh, I am teching down Diplotech by a lot. And apparently I need a new commander, so I'm going to... Let's see, how much will a Conquistador? I would don't have enough for a Conquistador, so I'm just going to get him. He's going to be my new commander. He's going to go right here. He's not great, but he's not terrible. I mean, we could have gotten like a 0-0-0 general, so... You know, I'm not completely like mad about that. I'm going to wait until I take one more time. There we go. Attack. Destroy the Algerians for embarrassing us. Where are they going? Okay. Destroy, yeah. Just, just keep following the Algerians. Like, seriously, we're just gonna follow them until they eventually all die. Like, I'm not I'm not even joking. We're just going to kill these guys off until they all just up and suffer. Because, yeah, I'm pretty mad about them. So let's just see. Right there, that should be enough. Yeah, we should be able to catch them. There we go. And there we go. That's, that was the win I was looking for. Not the loss that somehow happened out of random with 15 men. That, that, was, that was just weird. Like seriously, I've never seen a loss that big before in, in uh, EU4. But there we go. Now we just start detaching sieges everywhere. Now, I don't even need my vassal for this. I mean, this is just like... Do, do, do. And just get that right there. And there we go. I have a... How much of my armies right here? I have 14 ships in total just guarding this post. Making sure they don't do anything. I also could... Eh, we could combine these guys too. I mean, it wouldn't hurt. They can be here too. And I have at least two cogs, so... In essence, I could go try a uh, naval landing over there. And go try to go actually take what I want from Granada, but... Eh. I'm not really... I'm not really in a war for Granada. It's... I'm, I'm really just here because of... Uh... Because of other reasons. Okay. First off, core this. Okay. Now that we're starting to core that, now we can uh, deal with other stuff. So, when I want to, I'll go back up to one stability. But I need to get that core first so that we could do some stuff. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm gonna make these guys my vassal this war. Okay. And possibly Granada. If I really, 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 really want to go send over the manpower to go fight them. But... Yeah, they have eight soldiers over there, and that's a lot. Like, seriously, and apparently Portugal is fabricating a claim onto me. That seems about normal. I mean, they usually don't like it when I'm... When I do stuff. And I know... Okay, Mom. Mom, don't say anything. I'm, like, recording. That Mom, say nothing. Say nothing. <sighs> okay. So, I hopefully you guys don't hear that. You probably did. Um, as you guys know, I really don't like it when my family members talk or do anything. And... Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, we're just going to continue on with this war. Um, 
I'm just gonna casually siege down. I think I'm going to end this little segment as soon as, um, basically as soon as, oh shoot. Okay, who'd you guys go to war against? The Mamluks, your faithful allies, declare war on some people. Okay, just go to war, don't include me. Let's see, who am I war with? Uh, Venice, okay. So, since I'm at war with Venice, that means I'm probably gonna have to, like, put my ships actually in. Oh, gosh. I did not want a war against Venice. But, that's usually what the Mamluks do. They usually like to go into a war with Venice. It's usually not my idea. And I destroyed their ships. Have my army right here to destroy all of their ships. Yep, right there. And break them down. Seize them up. Go right here. Go to Algiers. Support the thing. Full annexation. I could do full annexation, but like I said, I just want to make them my vassal. Just going to be my vassal. Give me all your money. Give me. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now you guys are my vassal. Combine all of our men, and... Granada, do you guys possibly want peace? No. Could I offer six... Can I... Uh... You know, uh... Uh... Offer... Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna concede defeat. No, you guys are seriously... Wait, let me just see. What would you guys want? Just out of curiosity, do you guys want anything? No. You guys are gonna be stubborn, so... Let's just split up our army like this. Uh, and then just, like, starve you guys out. <laughs> I honestly don't need to attack you. I just need to starve you guys. Uh, noble aid. Lose a lot. Wow. You, what noble aid were we talking about? Like, seriously, that was, like, no noble aid at all. I just kind of, like, <laughs> got the bamboozled deal. I lost a little battle in Tripoli. Yeah, I have to really... I'm gonna have to really watch out for that because we do have the Venetians do usually have a bigger army than me. By the way, what are we fighting over? So I know kind of when we are supposed to lose. We're fighting over roads. Oh wow, there's lots of religious zealots on that island. I don't know. I don't know what the the uh, who owns who owns that province again. I don't know what the knights did to like make the Orthodox mad, but wow, we they made him mad. And right now we're just kind of sieging down the Moroccoians, just kind of making them realize that I'm just kind of, honestly, I'm just keeping you guys in it because, yeah, I, I really don't need you guys in it. I just, I got what I wanted, and you guys can now get out of the war. Like, we, we don't really need to start anything with you and me. We're pretty much, you know, in, uh, in another sense, we are brothers, because we're united. We really should not be fighting each other. We gained a core province. Yes. Okay, so I integrated them. Conquered Calcutta. Enemy of my enemies. So let's see. Uh, so they should be our friend. Uh, Aragon would never be our friend. So that's not a good quest. Conquered Calcutta. Uh, mm, yes. A lot of you guys are like, what, James? Why would you do that quest? Well, I don't think, I don't think as much as I love Portugal, I don't think they're going to have the militaristic might to reconquer Calcutta. And we got out of the war with them, I think. Nope. Dang it. I thought we were out of the war already. Um, the real people we have to get out of the war with are the knights, but we're, we're probably going to be in this war for a little bit, which kind of stinks. It kind of stinks. Hardy C. Yeah. We gained, we gained some naval tradition. I was good. I was really good. So, you guys, are you guys about ready? I'll concede defeat. I'll give you money. I know you guys like money. Okay, how about I offer, how about I concede defeat? Suggestions. Marco will pay for the just with the Congress who gains prestige. That's all they want? They just want me to pay some ducats? We negotiate on behalf. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'll play some ducats to get you guys out of the war. There we go. They didn't even want me to get back my alliance, which is good. Or my uh, vassal of Algiers. That's really good, because now my vassal of Algiers is my friend. And they're at war with everyone I'm at war with. Which should give us a good, good and mighty, uh, you know, alliance together. Because we'll be fighting the same people. And, like I'm saying, 
yeah, the Fezzing Rebels, I definitely think, will succeed. So then we'll just go in and conquer them. Hopefully they won't go to my land. I have an army here waiting for them. If they try to get into my land, I'm going to kill them. I, I have it ready. Like, ready as ever to go in their land. Um, I have about 20... 20 ships. Uh, we could go try some... We could honestly go try something in... In Venetian land, but I'm pretty sure they're going to beat us. Like, let's see, how many ships do they have? Woo! Hmm. Well, in total, we have about the same amount, actually, now that I'm looking at it, but I think by myself I'd probably get dead. So I'm just gonna look at the the Mamelukes, one ship that it has, and see what the. Sh okay, so that's what their port looks like. Okay, we could we could probably blockade that pretty effectively. Let's go! Yeah, we could we could definitely fight this. The Gulf of Venice, easy, easy pickings. And rebels have crossed our border. Oh, gosh dang it! I thought you guys would be peaceful. I didn't need you guys to be warlike. Ah, like seriously, I need you guys to be like the ultimate peaceful. Like, oh gosh, and you guys are terrible too. Oh gosh, and my guy is probably gonna. Ah oh, gosh. That early fight, man, it's the most terrible thing in the world. Like, seriously, I, there's sometimes where you could just win it, and then other times it'll make you lose it so badly. Like, that was one of those times where I'm just like, ah, gosh dang. And apparently, Tree Genoa has fabricated a claim on me. That's not good. Um, we're just keeping the uh, Venetians happy. Um, these guys still have like seven evil rebels, so I'm guessing that the Mamelukes aren't going to attack, which means we might be in this war for a very long time. Like, in all honesty, we might be in this war for a very long time. Okay, let's increase there. Muslim dual infantry, that's good. Get the dual infantry. We got better soldiers. So, maybe now we'll go fight. Um, okay, and give me one second. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I'm. I was gonna end the episode there, but then I realized I had like literally only three more minutes and then this would be a proper episode. Holy shoot, my army, all my ships just like died. I saw that in the corner of my eye. Oh gosh, that was a terrible navy battle. Well, maybe maybe then now the uh, Mamelukes will, will finally realize that this is not the war they should ever try and get me out of it. So I really should not be in this. Let's let's be real here, people. I should not be in this. And let's go kick these stupid Fezzi rebels' butt. Oh my goodness! Oh no, no, no! What is it? Oh, they have a cannon! Oh, no wonder why they're kicking my butt! Okay, okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. Okay. Because if you have one cannon in your group, that that honestly makes a difference. Because I was wondering, I was like, why am I getting my butt kicked by just rebels? Okay, let's get some... Get some quick mercs. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to get some quick mercs. We don't we honestly don't have an army anymore because most of our army has been defeated by stupid rebel force. Okay, what do you guys want? Probably they want. Oh, good! They went back to Por it went back to Portugal. Good job. Okay, I'm sending all my men here. Well, we well we kind of recover. Okay. So that means we don't really need you guys at this point in time because they're going to take a couple minutes to seize back Portugal. So I'm just going to kind of relax and see if I can gain enough manpower to fight them back. Oh gosh, wow, this is a terrible war. So is this over here. I don't know why. Mamelukes, please give up. Like seriously, you aren't going to win this. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to annihilate you. And hello, Persia. You guys are good to be in this new world you guys are in. And oh my goodness, we lost. Oh good, they they went away. Yay! Oh shoot. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to accept the demands. Dang it! Ah, they attacked me during the worst time possible. Handle them. Uh, spend admin points. Fez will become a free nation. Um. Until, okay, local autonomy lasts until 1503. Okay, it's not forever. Okay, there we go. I'm probably going to give up a lot of land. Nope. Okay. 
There we go. I gave the Fezian Nationalists what they wanted. Change culture in Tangiers. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. I had to, yeah. I just had to do that because otherwise these guys, these guys are crazy. They will revolt for no reason. Uh, you guys, for heaven's sakes, Mamelukes, get out of this war. How did we get the, why are we at high now? Okay, I, I'm not getting the uh, war. Oh, oh, that's why, because we just like ended it, good. Okay, we have more rebels coming to our lands. Handle them. Okay. Uh, but pirates. Uh, Berber nationalists defect the Mamelukes. Let's see, where are they? Trundlog, let's convert this culture, by the way. We don't need you guys, and we don't need you guys. Okay. As much as you guys are loved, well, not really. But that, and let's just continue. And there we go. Now, that's a full episode, so I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.